there's been a lot of progress. Um, you know, it's been uh, three months of hard work from the, from the women on the team, and you can definitely see the progression of once they step on campus to where they are now. And even bigger is they can see that uh, progression. Um, everybody came out uh, with the first uh, couple of meets and ran some solid times, did some solid jumps and throws. Uh, so I think, uh, you know, having a, a young team and having that buy-in of, oh, all this hard work is really paying off. Um, I'm excited uh, to see it uh, uh, for themselves and uh, see that the, the training is uh, you know, getting the right response that we're looking for. Preseason, I think we had like a really strong training season. We had like, um, a lot of endurance build, which was really good. And from these two first meets, I've already seen like a lot of the freshmen starting to like get it clicked and like understand like how the meets work and all that stuff. And I've really seen us like grow as a team come more unified. We definitely come together as a team. There is a lot of depth this year with like a lot of freshmen. So we're looking really good. The throwers are just doing amazing work in the weight room and it really shows. The sprints group, the seven or eight of them are really working hard. And I can just tell they're really like determined. And the mid distance, they are so hardworking and we're always there to like help them get better. In our past meet at Plymouth, we won every single event that we raced in. So that shows our depth right there. Like that's never happened before for us. And even in like the 60 meter, six out of the top eight were from our team. So that just really shows how strong our team is, um, especially I think in the sprints area, we really have a really strong base there, but then also in distance and throws, they really have. Um, a lot of just numbers that they can use to really propel our team. As a coaching staff, it gives us a lot more flexibility uh, going into meets, of deciding you know where we want to focus uh, meets. Uh, you know, we have some meets that we want to train through. Uh, we have some meets that we're really focused on getting quality times. So it gives us a lot more flexibility having that depth of you know, having a multiple uh, women that we can throw in different relays. Um, not double running um, our top top women uh, in events and kind of spreading it out and getting it a little bit more uh, selective in how we do our, our meet uh, setups. The program has literally just grown, grown so big like for the Penn men and having the NE10 hosting is just amazing. Like I remember coming as a recruit and the stadium wasn't even up yet and just Looking back, I'm like, wow, so much has changed already in the two years I've been here. I think definitely just our home meets are the most exciting because it's on our home turf. So we kind of have that sense of pride. And last year when we did Penman Relays, I knew how excited we were. Like, we really like showed what we are capable of. So I'm really excited for those two um, meets. And then especially hosting conferences, that's just going to be insane and so much fun. It's exciting to have the opportunity to uh, host conference. We've been penciled in for a couple of years now and it's finally upon us. Uh, there's definitely a lot of work that undergoes uh, putting on a meet, especially a two-day meet. Um, we had some experience for our first meet last year. Uh, got a lot of really great feedback from all the competitors and coaches around. Uh, so, you know, uh, we want to do it this new way the best possible that, you know, everybody leaves with a, a, a great experience and you know wanting to come back each and every year. Just getting it fully started like these two meets were kind of just like a preview of what our season's going to look like so just coming back and actually getting season started and um, hitting those times that we want and hitting those marks and I think we're going to do really good this year. Right when we get back we hit the hit the ground running so um, I think as long as they're determined and uh, are you know able to complete what is uh, prescribed for them over breaks I think they'll all be ready to kind of come out with some uh, good times and good throws and good jumps.